sources confirmed Tuesday that local man James McDermott, despite living on a doomed planet, was mostly concerned about the skin color of people in movies. <laughs> from the onion. From the onion. Fantastic. Should have said from the onion. The little little mermaids are black. Meanwhile, the fucking the world's crumbling around them. Yeah, and mermaids aren't real. Like, what do you like? What do you care, dude? <laughs> people are fucking ill. Yeah. Ill. And not that I'm like the beacon of mental health, but I might be. <laughs> like I might be. In I, comparison, I I try. I know where I'm where I'm faulty and where I need to improve, and you know I work on it. And every day is a another step in the right direction. But like, bro, what what do you care about? What color the Little Mermaid's skin is? It's a fucking mermaid. It's a movie, bro. It's like being mad that the people in Avatar are blue. Yeah. Or if they weren't blue in Avatar 2, that they were purple. Right. Like, it's too, it's too African-American. Oh, this is not what I'm used to. <laughs> yeah. That's not what Navi look like. Sorry, bro. Things fucking change. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. I haven't seen it. I want to see it. I haven't seen it either. Sometimes people, you know, sometimes people got to fucking... Mix shit up. Yeah. That is goes back to, and we'll wrap it up here, it goes back to the fundamental fundamental difference between conservatives and, I want to say Democrats, because liberals are also a pain in the ass, but, like, it's hard to change who you are. Very difficult. Definitely possible. These people, this guy would tell you people fucking never change, bro. Yeah. Yeah, just because you haven't changed since you were 14 and well, you're 53 doesn't mean that people don't change. Right. He's resistant to change, but also just seeing things through other people's eyes. That's like changed. Going, oh, they put, right, right. Just just notice it. Like, oh, that must be, wow, seeing like a show where everyone's white. Yeah. There are some black people, Asians and Latinos that exist, like, yeah. in the United States. And yeah. they're, they're legally here and they deserve to be here. They're Americans. They can't be represented. Like, there can't be like, a few. I'm not saying everything, but you can't like throw in a mix yeah. so that people aren't feeling like, well, the whole world's not about me. And when it, because uh, to to go back on this point a little bit, when it feels forced, it's like, oh god, we get it. Fucking other people exist. Like, right? Uh, we know other people exist. I don't cry about fucking bald people not being represented enough in movies. Like, I, I, I don't. It doesn't matter enough to me. Right. But I watched this movie. I forget the name of the movie. People We Hate at the Wedding or something like that. Okay. And it was like, oh, they like, they were very excited. Kristen Bell was in it, so I feel bad because we love her. But yeah. like, oh, okay. The, the way they did it was they made her brother gay, but he's dating an Indian guy. And then they have a mixed sibling because the in. woman's ex-husband was black. And it's like. You know how excited the fucking executives were when they came up with that? It's like, uh, just right, just make a movie. Just make a good movie. Yeah, yeah. If it fe- if it works for the character, great. If not, like, did you see Strange World? Yeah. Did we talk about it? it? Force it. No, I, I mentioned it with, with uh, him. It was, it's certainly forced, and it's a little bit, like, cringe because it's so forced. Yeah. It was like, but at the same time, if if some, like, queer young kid, like, can watch it and go, like, oh, okay, like, I'm okay, and maybe it, like, prevents... Like, like, I but feel like it's like affirmative action. Every movie is not going to be like that forever. So even if there are a few, doesn't I don't that, mind it. Doesn't that queer kid deserve to be reminded that life is not all about him too? The same way the white. Well, yeah, does? but I mean, it's a far cry from that. Yeah. If you look, there's, there's maybe two or three movies that say it's okay versus twenty thousand movies. So it's like having one or two or like come out. I think it's kind of cool. I think it's, it's, I totally get it though. I watched it at first. I'm like, what is this? And I watched, I, you, know, you watch the rest of it. It's like, okay. It kind of like fades away a little bit. And yeah, I think it's, it's a better trend. It is very liberal, but it's yeah. a better trend to show a little bit of it. And then like, sure. Of course. Show, you know, and again, not to like, I, I, I relate to Seinfeld's take on this where somebody asked him about diversity in comedians and cars getting coffee. Did you ever see that interview? No. He's like, oh, fuck. He's like, I can't stand this question. Yeah. This is, he goes, this is my show. Yeah. Like, these are my friends that I'm having in the car. I don't think about right. what color they are or what gender they are or what their sexual orientation is. I go, I want to talk to 
uh, Mario yeah. this, this week in the car. And then I picked the car. I don't, you know, I don't care which car I pick. I yeah, don't make yeah. sure there's a fucking diversity of cars. So, like, you know, I don't know if diversity for diversity's sake sucks, but there's a fine line between being completely blind to it and then forcing it, which right, right. I guess will, you know, not me. It's not my responsibility, but people will find. Like Black Panther, all black cast. Yeah. Sick fucking movie. Yeah. Great movie. Didn't feel like it was forced at all. Right. Well, it made sense for the plot. And it, of course. Yeah. But there wasn't even, I don't think there was a- any white people at all. The new one, Wakanda Forever? I haven't seen that one, the old one. one. I didn't see that but one. But like, yeah, it's fine. I don't really, I don't know, I just, I, I don't think about it enough. And then people that think about it too much, I'm like, that's weird too. Yeah. You but, also don't have to watch it. Yeah. If it's not your Yeah, there's. Entity. that's a great point, Jared. There is more than enough content. For you to shut the fuck up about this movie. Absolutely. That's kind of what I'm getting at, is like putting that color in the box doesn't ruin the box. It's like, that's good that that color's there. Yeah. To your point, it's not like forced on everyone. Yeah. But if somebody really is seeking that to feel validated, like they're- Yeah. It used to be in the 80s, 90s, alpha men, just validation. Yeah. (laughs) Like that's what every fucking hero was. John McClane and Rambo and all these characters. And dead bosses. Yeah. We get a burn this. <laughs> Do you think dead people made us think about diversity? And that's why they made that movie? <laughs> We're not represented. <laughs> we want to see corpses and starring roles. <laughs> uh, look at picket signs. <laughs> Zombies. Just kill me already. <laughs>